All right, guys, don't forget, throughout this process, a rag and a water spray gun are your friends. What's up, amigos? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be painting a couple suits. I want to show you the difference between uh, maximum effort, the new maximum effort with the four-way stretch and the I want it that way. Both of these are going to be Deadpool 2 uh, looks for the weathering. And you can tell right away one is brighter than the other. That's because the maximum effort one, uh, the fabric starts out red, whereas the I want it that way starts out white, has to be dyed before it's screen printed, so it ends up looking a little bit more of a magenta um, pinkish color. So it has to be giving a base coat uh, before I can even start on the paint. So let's start there. Let's start with that base coat. So for this first step, I usually move it outside because it can get a little messy. So um, I usually go with acrylics. Uh, you can use uh, whatever bright acrylic, uh, almost uh, more of a mm, bright red uh, color is what you want to get. So I still have some mix uh, from the last time, but uh, I'm going to show you guys how much I use. You don't need a lot. And if you don't want to use, you know, the spray gun method uh, or an airbrush for this, I don't use my airbrush because I use it more for detailing. So I just got this cheaper cross and becker um cheap harbor freight uh spray gun um instead of uh having to use my my airbrush because uh, the airbrush will clog up uh, i'm gonna have to look for an alternative for that probably uh an additional airbrush um that doesn't clog up as easily like a pachi or um something like that uh but for now we're going with the chip brush uh so you can see i already started here you can kind of see the differences between the areas that are the original kind of like magenta color and the areas that I'm going in with the brush just kind of dabbing in some paint like so okay and I'm doing this as I'm holding the camera so it's gonna be a little a little tricky I may have to put it down and you kind of just like blend in feel like Bob Ross right now. <laughs> you kind of blend in. Um, remember this is supposed to be, you know, um, all grimy and, and weathered, so it doesn't have to look perfect at this stage. You're just kind of trying to get a real nice even base for the entire suit. And the magenta underneath actually makes it so that the end color is actually pretty close to what you see in the movie, which is like not completely red. It's more of like a, a burgundy almost type color. A lot of this is going to come across as pretty straightforward. So I'm going to try to stop mansplaining every step of the way. Um, it'll also help keep this video under 30 minutes. Um, as you can see, just like spread out your paint. What you're trying to do is get a nice even base uh, for you to bring in those other grimy layers afterwards. Uh, you're gonna use your rag to kind of blend and push the paint out. Um, basically try to get as even surface as you can. What's beautiful about these fabrics is the high density scrim printing on them. Both versions of the costume have this finish and it just picks up the paint really nicely. You can spread out your acrylics and, and really get a nice surface for you to paint on top on. Now, whatever you use, either dry brushing or your airbrush, uh, is just gonna pick up that paint and just make it pop. What I'm doing here is just going over the seams and some of the crevices of the costume to lay out a design uh, that I'm gonna be building on top of. I'm going for a Deadpool 2 style. There's only a few pictures floating around right now and they're from the set, so considered spy pictures. And I'm just seeing some uh, main focus areas around the chest and legs, um, 
that are, that seem to be like the most grimy i'm going to try to go for the same look all right you guys get it i'm using the rag again i'm spreading out the paint enough mansplaining let's just get some good tunes going I'm gonna use a sponge brush now to bring in a little bit of acrylic to the chest area. Uh, for those areas that seem to be like the most dirty uh, from the pictures that I have. Uh, this might be a little scary as you're doing it, but worry not, we're gonna be adding a little bit of water and then spreading that acrylic paint all over the chest. Then you're going to be repeating the process a few more times or until you're happy with the level of grime that you're trying to achieve. If you don't have an airbrush, you can also use this dry brushing technique to go over the seams and crevices of the costume. Um, just use your rag and water bottle to blend in as best you can, but you can achieve pretty good results by going with just dry brushing. So now I'm bringing in some red and magentas again, um, just to blend in uh, those darkened areas. And also, uh, you want to think about, you know, what that weathering really represents. You know, if you're thinking about, you know, if it, is it dust, is it oil, is it actually like dry blood? Like, what does that look like? As well as what areas of the costume are going to have the heaviest amount of weathering? Where does it make sense for this suit to get the dirtiest? Um, the pack on this side, as you can see from the pictures, um, is, it makes sense that it's dirtier, uh, whereas this one is hidden under the strap. So, you know, just those little realistic uh, things that um, you would expect the suit to get dirty with sweat and dirt and blood, uh, all that grime has to mean something, right? So it comes from somewhere. So that's kind of what you want to keep in mind when you're painting. So you kind of get the gist of it. Um, I'm gonna go through the entire thing and then show you the end result.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank So even though I masked the black areas, I still got that little smudge there. No worries though, you can use a little bit of nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol and uh, just put a little bit on your rag and just gently rub off any uh, smudges that you may have on unwanted areas. So to simulate dirt, I'm going to use a little bit of acrylics and uh, airbrushing paint and I'm going to dry brush it on to the costume. As you can see, I'm going to use some light brown and white for this effect. For the metallic accents, I'm going to use some metallic acrylic paint and some gunmetal gray. Mix the two and dry brush again. I'm just spraying a little bit of water to dilute the paint um, and off we go.
here we go, folks. Uh, from the dirt on the knees up to the grime, bloody, I, I like to think it's like blood, uh, bloody right pack. Uh, we have the entire Deadpool 2 paint scheme. Uh, this is as seen on the pictures that are kind of behind the scenes, you know, those like spy shots. As always, um, those pictures are gonna look uh, a little bit different than what you see on screen because there's a lot of color correction that happens. A lot of, you know, a lot of those scenes are um, uh, CG heavy. But as far as uh, the pictures that I had to go by, this is uh, as close as I could get it. And uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, learned a thing or two and you're able to like do some touch-ups on your suits. Any other questions, uh, email me, gmail.com, and I'll see you in the next one.